Hello, welcome to FEMA Pre Alpha May TC series. In this series, we would like to share with you our FEMAP experience, giving you some hints to perform real FEA on the easy way. Today, we will continue with FEMAP tools used for modeling of spot weld connections as part 4. Spot welding is used for assembly of sheet metal bodies, for example, the equi bodies. This is a type of welding where the spot welds are made at regular intervals on overlapping sheet of metals. FIMAP um, can uh, model these connections using C weld elements. Before spot weld um, element uh, creation, C weld properties must be defined using a weld diameter, which together with length and material will be used for calculation of connector stiffnesses in six directions. When spot weld option is checked, stiffness will be calculated using an effective length equal to a half of thicknesses of bodies or sheets connected by the weld. Spot weld uh, definition uh, should be done used of different weld types uh, and there are many different types available in this definition, for example element to element or nodes to nodes, patch to patch property. Uh, however, we need to have an if even for this definition add some uh, orientation for the spot weld elements and weld location uh, defined by projection or axis uh, defined by selected uh, selected nodes. Let us see how we can do this in FEMAP. For um, um, the following FEMAP geometry, um, uh, we have the shell model, shell model which will be uh, uh, meshed and spot, spot weld connections will be defined in uh, this location uh, selected uh, on this model for definition of meshes and uh, future uh, weld location mesh points and, uh, have been uh, uh, defined before definition of welds as mentioned before uh, uh, before element definition, we are going to select a property uh, for welds. In this case, we are going to um, use predefined material as is stated still, and C weld is the name for the property. And uh, the main parameter diameter of uh, uh, spot welds will be. Yes, selected by two nodes for measurement of diameter and additionally we are going to select spot weld option to have the definition of a calculation of um, stiffness uh, based on uh, equivalent length of, uh, of a weld. Element uh, definition that will be based on element to element weld type and in this case, we are going to select uh, one reference element on the top and one uh, reference element on the bottom of a future spot weld. Uh, the, having this uh, selected, we need to add um, a weld location. And in this model, we are going to use weld location used by a definition of axis between two central nodes, future mesh points, as I mentioned before. And on this way, we are going to create a weld property which will be used for a definition of several weld connections. We need to, of course, add our property previously selected and defined. Uh, for definition of the world connector. World connector will be presented on this way in the model and using this, mod this uh, method we are going to 
create another fifth, fifth, five uh, elements uh, for this model as presented in, uh, in this picture. Uh, of course, before solution, we need to add some uh, boundary conditions for this model. The first one will be uh, when we load, use at the top of this cutaway model and we in connection to this load, we are going to select and define event constraints, symmetry constraint and fixed constraint at the bottom of the structure. And after solution, we can simply evaluate resulting stresses in sheet bodies. And of course, most interesting for us right now, results close to the connectors spot world connectors. Using um, grouping group management we can even select uh, just only uh, the uh, structure with welds uh, to see uh, resulting stresses. And even if you would like to evaluate the results for weld uh, connectors, we can um, choose and select from the output list um, appropriate vectors for welds, uh, starting from different type of vectors like moments, um, uh, shear stresses, and forces, of course, which will uh, give us the answer about uh, those results in connectors, which can be very useful for our evaluation. FEMAP spot welds help with efficient modeling of different FE assemblies. For more information, please check chapters from FEMAP help folder or contact us using email FEMAP support at femcom.se. Thank you for watching.